Mary Strauss been really busy because my husband um, pretty much where Rama started has cirrhosis, came out with cirrhosis. It's really a shame because he was like living a very helpful lifestyle, you know, it's all over him and stuff in the past. And ironically, what seems to have set it off was him trying to quit coffee because he was trying to improve his sleep and everyone's like, oh, maybe if you quit coffee, your sleep will be better, you know, just having no caffeine. But the coffee was probably um, keeping his liver going, which is actually a pretty common story. So, I just wanted to ask people, um, we were doing a lot of ozone for him because that's just like helping. Even in a couple days, it's helping and it's, we have multiple generators at the house and he loves it. He's getting very into it. I'm still having trouble getting him to do rectal ozone, but every, that's a hard sell for me too. Um, we're trying a bunch of other things, like he's doing the ozone, he's doing, um, putting ozone oil on his liver. I'm trying putting ozone oil on my butt. I'm testing a lot of stuff on me to see how it works for him. And luckily, my liver is stressed from all my antibiotics right now, so I can kind of see what helps my liver. And, uh, you know, we thought we were like, oh, we're going to, you know, have this a great liver doctor in town, but there's some, like, legal thing going on right now with where the doctors like at our liver center can't see people in our state and like so I don't know like who he's gonna see right now so that's another even the more recent like we're like well uh this is kind of urgent so let's fill you with ozone and we're doing we're looking also into ALA IVs we applied him to the uh, Dr. Bergson's clinic the ARKSON the Integrative Medical Center in Las Cruces New Mexico and he's on their, you know, system now, but they have like a year-long wait list, so what good is that going to do? Um, when you have cirrhosis, you can have like a high death risk in a couple months, so uh, he's looking into some ALA IVs locally, and also looking at stem cell therapy, um, just we've seen a lot of research on it, I've had it myself, it did really promote healing for me. Obviously, I'm not like 100% better from my injuries, but it definitely like turned things around in a way that had never happened before and did some things for me that nothing had ever been able to do. And I no longer fantasize about amputating parts of my body, so there you go. But anyway, I'm just putting, I'm, I'm doing so many uncomfortable things trying to get advice for him or trying to put feelers out if anybody knows anything, if anybody can refer him to anything, because it is. People really don't understand cirrhosis very well. They don't understand liver disease very well. There's so little awareness of it, um, and it's a, it's it's life threatening. You can have it for years with no symptoms, and get this: your lab tests are fine. His lab tests were fine up until a couple months ago, and um, they just went fucking off the charts. We just got his lab results back from the life insurance company, which is well, how we even figured out this. He, we have some life insurance, thankfully, but he applied for a different set, a different length of it, and his numbers were just like literally off their little visual chart that they, like off the page of one of the tests, and um, the liver, liver related test. So anyhow, um, please just let me know if you know anything for actually reversing cirrhosis, because we are ambitious, and we, I've seen videos online of uh, many people um, bringing their numbers down, bringing their mold score down, and the LD score, and uh, just a lot of stuff people do for Lyme disease, frankly, will cross-apply, and um, just please, I'll try to actually check the comments, I usually don't because I'm emotionally sensitive and I don't want to know what people are seeing, but I'll try to check the comments on this video and just tell me if you know things for reversing liver disease, reversing cirrhosis, and how to use ozone for your liver. Uh, he's going to try cupping because he likes to be able to do ozone while he's doing other stuff, so just cupping ozone on the liver. So yeah, wish us luck and I mean, thank god we know about ozone, right? Like, I, this is just going to make me all, like doubly the ozone person because like I feel like ozone saved my life and just made my life so different than it could have been. I haven't had an easy time with my diseases, but I would not be here. I would, my life would not be anything like it is without ozone. And then, you know, with my husband, like if we didn't have this, if we didn't have this 
understanding of different kinds of regenerate, regenerative medicine, we would be um, facing some pretty hard, pretty hard times right now. So, anyways, uh, we should look about because basically what I realized here's the way I'm going to portray it. A lot of times people get on. They, get, they have liver disease and they get on a transplant list and they wait for someone else to give them their liver donor or that person. But you know what else you could do if you get diagnosed? You can grow another liver for yourself. You can go be you know, productive and self-sufficient and go grow your own extra liver. Because it, it actually only takes like a handful, like 5% or something of your liver being healthy cells to function. And so if you can just grow that 5% healthily back with ozone, with ALA IVs, with stem cells, with, you know, nutrition, with something, like, I mean, that that must be how people are going to develop scores down, because other people are doing it. I've seen on this blog about, like, healcirrhosisnaturally.com or something. I forget what it is, but I'll try to link it. But, um, so we're going to try, ho you know, hopefully he's going to grow his own liver transplant, essentially, because he... He's got to start fresh. So, uh, wish us luck. Pray for us, please. Pray for my husband. He's just really the most amazing person. And, um, I, yeah, I need him. So, okay, bye.